I've been talking with Eric Douglas in the past, I've been just impressed the way he carries himself, just as uh, very thoughtful in the, in the way he talks. And he seems like the kind of guy that would be nice to have in a, in a room, you know, to, to have as a, as a leader. How much does it mean to have a guy like him? Well, I think he's a guy that has some confidence. I think he has confidence in his ability. Yeah. I think he has confidence because he has played, um, you know, and that's a good thing. Uh, and, and he has a very good sense of what we're trying to accomplish as an offense, this picture that we're trying to paint. And as a center, you better have that or, you know, things are not going to get as, 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 as the way they need to be. But he's done a nice job. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, even working with him more as, a, as, as a camp goes on. You know, I, I feel like I know what the skill set of most of these guys have been, you know, having them in spring practice. But I still think we're 15 practices away or so from really knowing exactly what we, what all we have and what we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, these next couple weeks, I think, will be critical for our whole group, uh, uh, not just Eric, but our whole offensive line. Yeah, I know it's you know early impressions. Like you just said, there's still a lot of time. But sure. Anyone who's maybe surprised you or, or really stood out with maybe some of the progress they've made or. I, I listen. I think all of them has pro all of them kind of have made some kind of progression. Yeah. I don't. I don't see anybody that's saying, "Well, boy, he's taking a step back uh, so far." Um, but uh, I, I really like uh, some of the young guys. Uh, I like Wanamaker. I like Vershawn Lee. I think I've said it publicly. I, Vinnie Murphy's did some nice things in the spring. Uh, so, uh, and then other than the guys that have played, you know, and I've really been impressed with Hank Manos. You know, just the way he carries himself and. Uh, he's a consistent guy that shows up on a daily basis to the to 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 this facility and wants to do good for the Gamecocks, along with White Campbell and and uh, so you know there's a, there's several candidates now. Let's go out there and perform, um, not just in the weight room or in the classroom. You know, we got to go do it on the field now on a daily basis. That I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for. <laughs> all right. Awesome. That's all, that's all I have for you. Thank you. Coach, I apologize if you've been asked before, but uh, working with the guys working with Coach Day this summer in the offseason program, how have you seen them progress and what he's been able to implement so far? Well, I think I think the the summer conditioning, uh, summer weight room is always where you see the biggest strides because it's no football; it's just weight room and running and all those sort of things. So I think from a mental and physical toughness, I think is what you're going to see a pretty good leap in, particularly the mental toughness of learning how to finish and how we go about training. I think there was a, you know, before spring practice, hell, everybody was just trying to get to know each other and trying to get a feel for things, how things are going to work. And we get through spring practice and he's had them for an extended period of time now. And I think he now knows what the expectations of the pro he, Coach Day, has pushed that along to the players of what the expectations is on a daily basis when you come in this building. One of the things Coach Beamer talked about today is uh, he was asked what does culture mean to him, and he said it's it's something that you feel when you walk in the building. Sure. So for you, what do you feel when you walk in the building? Excitement, gratitude, accountability, trust, all these words around the board, gratitude, toughness, we compete, positive energy. Those are the things that this program's been built on, and that's what I feel when I walk in this building on a daily basis. How you doing? Very good. good. I'm going to start off the, off the grid a little bit. Okay. As a guy who's had a bunch of jobs and has kids and family, when you change jobs, how difficult is that for the family, especially for a kid to say, we love Georgia yesterday, and today you love Tennessee. I, I, I think uh, this year was probably obviously the most unique experience because I lost my ex-wife um, just a few days before I took this job. And managing my children through this whole process, uh, even though they're uh, uh, older, um, you know, has been a pleasure. And Coach Beamer has given me some latitude to be able to do some things for them uh, during this time that's made it a lot easier. Um, but my kids are very mature. They're coaches' kids. They understand what's going on. Um, I guess the only negative thing that I've ever gotten was when I was at Georgia and we were playing Texas A&M, I believe, in the Cotton Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they did this kids' newsletter. And, um, who, who did it? I, I think the bowl did. And they, interviewed, they found my kids somewhere and interviewed them. And, uh, and uh, my oldest son 
they asked a question of who's your favorite college football team. And of course I was working at Georgia at the time and, and my son said Marshall. And I, I thought that was kind of funny. And uh, so, yeah, when he, he was probably like five years old at that time and he didn't know much difference, but, you know, but, but, you know, my kids are, are competitive people and uh, they, they want what's best for their dad. And, and, you know, my son's now in the, my oldest son's now in the real world of working at Axel Logistics Company in Knoxville. My other son is a heck of a football player at East Tennessee State. And then my daughter, I took uh, two weeks ago to Cincinnati. She's already started at the University of Cincinnati on the dance team there.